Good morning, everyone. Evil COVID Dave here today. We're at the gathering attitude. I said, we're already doing. I can't even do the flex. Oh my God, his public camera. This one is going out to my great friend, Rudy Schoonover. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Stop hitting the damn camera, Dave. I, I have fog brain too. I didn't even bring out the freaking box, man. So I was like, screw it. I'm just laying it all out here. So Rudy, man, my dude, Rudy is a dear friend of mine. And I love you, buddy. So I want to give you a little bit of an early Christmas gift. We got a Wilds of Drain bundle for you. Oh, yeah, man. We got a commander deck. That's his favorite, dude. He's a commander player from hell. Uh, we got a collector booster box. Oh, I should say it's just a collector box with... Some type of beautiful collector booster in there. Chaos box. Fan question of the day is, have you ever had COVID? And tell me about your experience. This, this is the first time in four years. I have never had it. This is the first time I've had it. It's taken me four years to get it. So, and it just sucks, man. It just sucks. I hate it. So, um, yeah, we got Lord of the Rings here, too. Tales from Middle Earth. We'll get some three booster packs there. The, the promo will go out with the fan question. Three Commander Legends. Ikoria, the Eagle Buddy Collector Booster. Wilds of Eldraine Collector Booster with the sticky stuff because these were also in the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, you, pff, I can't even think. The individual packs from Walmart. Uh, Doctor Who and NC Jam, man. I got some old school for you, Rudy. So, uh, but while I'm opening this stuff up, hey, uh, Shitbird. Speed this up for me, will you? And we're back. All right, buddy, just so I don't contaminate you. Uh, we'll put a little hand sanitizer on here and it's freezing up by the way it's there's a frost all over the place but i want to get outside because i find myself if i stay in bed i, I don't want to sh expose too much but just know that i'm outdoors and you can see the frost on the ground so all for you pal all for you so just want to uh bring a smile to your face you bring one to me every day lucky die going out lucky fan oh 13 oh damn man i can't even get a 13 when i'm ill so there you go. All right, let's start, we'll start with the commander deck, man. Uh, multicolor. Uh, I want to say this might be a Zendikar one. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, 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 oh. I was way off. Uh, oh, yeah, I was definitely way off. You did. Wow, you got a sample pack too. It's Dom United. So there it is right there, man. Jared Carthline. So my memory serves me correct. That's actually a pretty damn good, uh, pretty expensive. Not expensive, but just pricey. And remember, Mystery Monday is all about value. Uh, Rudy doesn't care about value. Rudy cares about playability and destroying people. So, which I do too, to a varying degree, but I collect and also build decks too. So, there you have it. Uh, you saw you saw what we got inside the mystery box. All right, uh, Lathril going out. So is Lawn of War Elves. I think it's there like two or three bucks a piece. And uh, not that one, but rate here so this came from nc jam best repacker in the game check them out if you say bbd's baker's dozen or uh evil days lucky number 13 you'll get an extra one to five dollar reserve list card so that is one of my reserve list cards going out brand of ill omen going up with a fan question rudy's like i want that one so how's everybody doing i hope you are healthy and you are not suffering from this crap for damn sure so, oh, sure, I'll put it on third. No, no, it doesn't even want to stay. All right, Rudy, good luck, buddy. Your value be on your side. Rudy's like, just pull me some, some fire. Uh, let me just move the wastebasket over here. Yeah, so I forgot the can, and I'm just like, the hell with this, man. I'm just going to rip it open. I don't care. My give a shit meter is pegged right now for damn sure. Uh, by the way, our card and land card always goes out with a lucky fan. Question Druid, great card, man. Great card. Ooh, Utopia Sprawl. Okay, take that in the uncommon spot. Spread in seas, like Edward J's mom. Hey! 
And Harried Spear Guard, uh, actually, very good card to draft. <laughs> little quick 1-1 uh, with haste, and when he dies, you get a nice little rat token that can only attack. Ugh. Man, my hands are freezing right now. They are freezing. So I don't care. It's 28 degrees outside. But like I said, if I get uh, it, if I force myself to move around, it initially hurts to do so. But then I feel a little better. Court of Lock Wayne. Get a card. Ooh, Tally on the Coming Lord. That's actually not bad, Rudy. That's those are the colors too, man. Hatching plans. That's what he's doing right now. Dream Spoil is going out. Oh, and Quested Beast Man. That is our freaking list card. Probably on the. It's not as it, dude. That's a, it's a disgustingly good card. It really is. It's probably around five bucks now. Probably went down because again, it got the reprint. But it got the reprint on the list, so it's not horrible. Oh man, not bad, man. Uh, I think I don't know if he has a quest of beast. Beautiful forest, uh, foily forest. Excuse me. Oh man, oh, mouth is dry too. I can't get enough water. I mean, I, I want somebody to really tell me about their experience. And I uh, copy enchantment, great card. Oh, excuse me, I'm burping too, and breathing hard. Um, yeah, tell me about your experience, man. Because everybody has a different experience with COVID. Like, for me, I have a little loss of taste. Not much, but I, enough where I could I could feel it. So I'm also walking around the house with a mask other than my little bear cave downstairs. Court of Arden Vale, sure. Okay, uh, the Iron Crag. It's discard. Compulsion and Waste Knot. There we go. That's the uh, Borderless Foil. That's actually a decent, that's a decent hit, Rudy. It's a pretty good bundle so far, man. So... And Rudy, this will all go out to you, man. You know I'll send this off to you. So I just... He... Rudy is an extremely wizened player. Volvo Wild's going out in the honor of Joey Moss. And uh, he's just a great... He's a great, great uh, Magic the Gathering player. Just uh, has friggin' ridiculously good, uh, good decks he puts together. A Tale for the Ages. Oh... Omniscience, there you go, buddy. That's the borderless. Not bad. Not bad. Tempest Heart, and that is all she wrote in the background. So, uh, but he loves. He and I are the are the same. We're, we're blue players. We love. Ooh, that's signed art right there. I just noticed that going up. Lucky fan, and a foils swamp. And uh, he, he's a blue player as well. He he and I splash blue all the time. If not, have blue as our main our main color. Okay, elusive otter. Oh, oppression. There we go. That's a very nice card. Very nice card. Stab wound. Sort of my heart feels like right now. An old flitter fang. Flitter fang going out with the lucky fan. <laughs> oh nice. my god, man. Oh, I'm just. <sighs> I sound like too. Uh, my body. It just. If I feel like I get hit by a truck. It just feels like a hor like a terrible, terrible flu. And uh, yeah, that's a thing, man. Uh, also, Rudy, I'll wait s at least 72 hours before I mail this out, just in case some little bit of my uh, DNA gets on here, bud. <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Raid Bombardment, Ferocious Werefox, and nothing in the back. That was kind of a bunky pack. But actually, Charm Scones was okay, not that card. Not a bad card at all. All right, wow, another sign. Hey, look, it's Hello Kitty, something like that. <laughs> there you go, man. All right, going up with the lucky fan. Rudy's like, hey, dog, I want that. And he's like, I'm just kidding. I don't care about the cost of cards. All right, here we go. Scalded Viper Showcase, not bad. Not bad at all. The Goose Mother, sure. Ooh, Force for Wish, and there you go. Nice blue guard there for you, bud. Impact Tremors, and nothing else in the back. All right, guys, stand by while I clean this. Actually, pretty goodness up. And we're back, man. Oh, man, even my snapper's not working that good. <laughs> does this make you uncomfortable? Hey, does this make you uncomfortable? A little bit. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, yeah, we couldn't have uh, expected anything else, or anything worse, I should say, from... Uh, the freaking mystery boxes. That was pretty bad. Other than the uh, correction on that. Other than the uh, commander deck. Again, frog brain. Frog brain. All right, here we go. Come on, Rudy. Come on, man. What do you got, kid? 
What do you got? Ooh, Falco, Sparrow of Pact Weaver. That's actually not bad. That's actually a decent hit. As decent you can get out of there, man. Land going out. He's like, Solari, stop giving away the islands, bro. You know how our bro soul? I'm like, Spoon over. That's his last name, by the way. No. No. Not doing it, man. You know how this goes. No, he, he understands. He's he's watched this for a while. So, again, he and I are really, really good friends. We really are. Alchemist Gambit, even though he killed my car. Ooh, hopeful initiate for you. It's not bad. Not killed. He murdered my char uh, character in D&D. &D. Hysterical. I uh, watched that Rule of Cool, uh, Brian Coon's channel. Uh, Pipe Dream Gaming. Uh, Rule of Cool is it. Every Tuesday night we play. A little D and D, uh, and he absolutely just straight up murdered my uh, murdered my character. Hysterical. So he and I were bantering back and forth on that. Ooh, expressive iteration, man. It went down in price because it, it did get uh, a reprint, I believe, but still a good card. Conspiracy theorist. We'll put it in the cool guy pile. Strategic planning. There we go. That's a mythical archive. And unwilling ingredient is a foil going out with a lucky fan. So. There you have it. Yeah, we just uh, getting into the uh, the set boosters of of uh, yeah, Lord of the Rings here, man. Lord of the Dorks, Lord of the Dorks. All right, Morgul knife. Come on, man. And Rudy does does love Lord of the Rings. Of course he does. Of course he does. Why wouldn't? All right, Knights of Dull Unearth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, born upon a wind. All right, Knights of Dull Unearth again. That's just a regular foil going out, man. Oh, 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 crack in the back. Oh, man, it is freezing out here. Like I said, 28 degrees, no joke. But again, I want to get outside. I did some leaves yesterday. Today is November... Uh, November 12th, I think. It's the day after Veterans Day. So, foray of orcs, good card. Ooh, the Witch King of Angar. Ang Angmar, excuse me. So, Rudy's going to love that one. Ring sights, foil going out with the lucky fan. There you have it. So, but yeah. Um, he's also, believe it or not, into My Little Pony. He loves Dash. So, I believe it's his favorite uh, My Little Pony. Signed our card going out. All right, here we go. Getting to the good stuff. Not the good good and stuff to confuse with that. Okay, Denethar, Rockwood Bats, okay. Yeah, same as Ganji, there you go. There you go, Selesnya Colors, Men of Gondor, it's like a buck. Forge a new regular foil, that's not bad, man. A Dauntless Adawa Bark is our list card, Rudy. So, not bad, man. I forget which set that goes back to. Uh, that's actually an old set, I can't remember the name of it. All right, guys, stand by while I clean this stuff up. Uh, and we're back. Okay, let's check out what's in the sample pack. These can be fun. Well, these are fun. These can be good, though, too. So, for me, all about value. For Rudy, all about playability. And a little bit of value every once in a while. So, all right, man. Here we go. Okay, Academy Lore Master. We're getting uh, nice, rare blue cards for you, for sure. And Uncommon in the back. Erg, Spawn of Turd. Yes. I say Sweet, turd. salty That's socks. Just me. That's just me. Um, actually, we'll put this with the collector packs. We'll get right into uh, Commander Legends. This is Rudy's jam right here, man. Like I said, anything Commander, dude. Rudy is a fabulous, and I mean a fabulous Commander player. He's a fabulous player all around, but he can uh, he can build some Commander decks and just make you want to vomit in your face, in your mouth. Roll your windows up. In your face. <laughs> yeah, good one, Dave. Good one. You're, you're all over it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Mask of Memory is actually pretty good. We'll put that in the cool guy pile. Elvis Dreadlord. Right there. Not bad. We'll take that. Malcolm Keen Eyed Navigator. Sure. Nadir. Nadia. Souls Fire Foil. And the. Ah! the lucky fan. You know what? I'll sign that one. I'll sign it. Why not? I haven't signed a card yet. Oh, man. There you go. Uh, evil. Grave. I should put stop putting on there. Was here. Oh no! I just put got marker on my got marker on me. I should say. Yeah, I'll put that off to the side. No, yeah, well, I don't care. My like I said, man, my give a shit meter is pegged right now. 
you know, when you're feeling that sick, you're just like, oh, I'm just going to strip down naked and take a shower and just get out and just lay down. I don't care what I look like. So I'm in that type of mood. It's just, uh, I, yeah, it's just one of those days. Just one of those days. You know. Ooh, Gilda's Commons, that's actually a nice card. Victimize. Oh, all right, there we go. Ember Wild Captain. It's not that bad card, man. Juddy. Okay, Tormod. And Horizon Scholar is our foil. Going out with a lucky fan. Not doing too good on Commander Legends, Rudy. <laughs> Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> Jeweled Lotus. So, why not? Why not? All right. That'd be nice. Yeah, I, I think he does have a Jeweled Lotus. And it might be a foil, too. Fendo and Elves, I think that's actually like a buck. So, we'll put that out to the side. It might be. It might be. Yeah, oh, Terramorphic Expanse. I won't rip it up. He actually likes Terramorphic Expanse. Thirst for Knowledge. I believe that is a little something. Shimmer Mirror. Shout out to Mirror Girl. Roxas Dragon. And wrong turn. Another blue card, man. Doing good in the blues, man. Doing well. Excuse me. And Trove Trucker in the rear. All right. Stand by while I clean all this stuff up. And we're back. All right, Rudy. I just uh, did the old uh, farmer snot rocket. So I'm going to clean my hands just in case a little bit get on there. See how red my hands are right now? See how dry they look? It's because it's freaking cold. The pains I take for you, my friend. So, uh, by the way, blister pack was what I was thinking of with the uh, the sticky stuff. So, yeah. Rudy's like, I sure did. My answer to that is yes. Rudy... I'm not JD. That's an inside joke. So, uh, actually, I will tell you about that. The first year we went to the island, uh, one of my friends uh, that went with us required a pair of sweatpants. And we're on like day three or day four. Scheme and fence. I'll stop if I have anything really good. Body count's actually pretty good. And I gave him my extra pair of sweatpants. <sighs> well, that's actually a good card right there. It's actually decent. For this set, he um, <clears throat> he did something, and uh, some of his stuff got on him. And uh, like his his sweatpants were drying out; it was pretty wet, and it was cold too. It was cold, and uh, I'm like I'm like, hey, uh, Chris, I need my sweatpants back, man. Uh, uh, mine are wet; I gotta dry mine off. Yours should be dry. And he's like, you don't want these back. And like no one could figure out why. And I was like, right away. Ooh, Loris of the Dream Den. That's actually good. That's a decent right there, dude. Oh, so much crap. Um, and, ooh, showcase. Not bad. And, ah! Gross. Oh, there we go. There we go, Rudy. That's what we wanted to see. We'll take that one. That made up for it right there, Bar. And I'm like, did you beat off of my sweatpants? He's like, that might have happened. I'm like, you're disgusting, dude. And he's like, no, I'll wash them for you. Give them back. I'm like, no, you can have them, bro. So the next year we went out to the island. He uh, he actually ended up buying me like a a pair of sweatpants and giving it to me. <laughs> I'm like, no, you can have those, man. It's fine. So, yeah. I'm like, dude, it's freezing out here. When did you even find time for that? Oh, okay, that's right. These are all up front. All right. Decadent Dragon. Showcase. Not bad. Rest in peace. Great card, man. That's a little bit of a heater right there. Skull and Viper Showcase, sure. Ah, oh, Sleep Cursed Fairy. It's actually not, actually, it's a really good card. That is not bad at all. Archon of the Wild Rose. Ah, oh, Spread and Seas Foil, not bad. Grasp of Fate. Beautiful Mountain going out, lucky fan. We'll send that one out there. Okay, we'll just go through these nice and slow. These are great cards, man. I, I, I do like this set. This is definitely an underrated set for damn sure. All right. Doctor Who. I don't know a lot about this set for, for damn sure, guys. So forgive me if I pass something up here. So I know one of the doctors is really good. And I do know they have the, the squiggly foils, which are excellent cards. So I'm sure Editor J will uh, let you all know that I'm stupid. And the truth shall set you up. free. All right. Fourth Doctor. Starting off uh, hot there. Fourth Doctor's pretty good. All right. Choked. Estuary, sure. Scatter Groves. Kraken Time, not bad. River Song. Is it colors? Jenny Generated Anomaly. Fiery Islet, and that's the Borderless. 
It used to be such an expensive freaking card until they reprinted it into Oblivion. Wilfred Mott. That's a nice card. Temple of Enlightenment, Scarland. All right, there's our first squiggly, squiggly, squiggly foil. And that's Barbara Wright. That's borderless. War Room. That's at least five bucks. I can almost guarantee you that. All right, Sundown Pass. Not bad. The Sixth Doctor. Okay. We're getting into the good stuff here. Ugh, Missy again. That's the foil. I don't think we did too good there at the end. But all right, we'll see. All right, guys, stand by until we get into the NC Jam pack. And we're back. Okay, man. NC Jam time, Rudy. Come on, man. Let's see if we can get a, a scorcher here, kid. Rudy doesn't have that uh that Bostonian twang. He's uh he lives out in Western Mass. It's kind of like uh, people from New York. They only consider people that live in the city. Um, from New York. So, there you go. Which is totally not true. So, it's the same with us. All right, these are all going on to Rudy because, uh, again, the, these are something that he may need. Guys, usually I rip the first two off. All right, here we go. Crown of Ages. Ooh, Force of Nature. These are fourth edition. It's not bad. Ooh, ooh, I just went off the, the screen there. Reflected Mirror for the Dark. Very nice. That's going way back, man. 1993. Spectral Cloak from Legends. Here we go. Nature's Lore. And, again, uh, that is actually... Fifth edition, right there, man. That's old. It's about a buck or so. <laughs> Hasran Ogres. There we go from the Radio Knights. Kicking it old school. Reflect damage. There you go, buddy. That's a uh, that's a that's his first reserve list card right there, bud. That's from Mirage. Not bad. All right. Dwarven armor from Fallen Empires. Not bad. Looks like that. So Davi Digger from Alliances. Okay. There you go. You, go. you can pause at any time and check what these out. From Exodus, Oath of Ghouls. That's something right there. Ooh, Camouflage from Unlimited, man. Read what that does, dude. I remember this card. Very nice. Yes, I'm that old, guys. So, Camouflage, very nice card. And Serpent Generator. Wow, from Legends. That is a, that's a banger right there. That has to be at least $15. If I was taking gas, about 20 bucks. And that's in great condition, dude. Look at that. That is in really good condition. Hey, Rudy, man. Listen, much love, buddy. You know I think about you all the time, and I got nothing but the most respect and kindness for you, dude. And you the same back of me. Till next time, guys. Deuces. Much love. Be good to somebody today and tell me about COVID. You will Dave going out baghead style. Thank you for watching our short video.